normal people become terrified of criminals. Shots were just fired. Police just came out and told us and we're headed there right now. They become terrified of their own government. Ladies and gentlemen, I got such amazing news for all of you. This is from U.S. News. Maryland handgun licensure law is unconstitutional U.S. court rules. This is massive, okay? A U.S. appeals court, this is federal, on Tuesday declared that Maryland's licensing requirements for people seeking to buy handguns were unconstitutional, setting a landmark U.S. Supreme Court decision last year that expanded gun rights. Let me break it down for you. In Maryland, to get a gun, you got to take a safety class, like a four-hour program, and, like, and then get a license, and then you can do this. A lot of states do this. And now the U a U.S. federal court has just said, not anymore. This is a major milestone in universal federal constitutional carry, which we should have because the, 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 the uh, Constitution is federal. Yet state by state, we are still fighting this battle over constitutional carry now. More than half the country is constitutional carry. And those that remain, the evil states, they call them the evil seven, they are now losing time and time again. This will probably get appealed. We'll see what happens if it goes to the Supreme Court, but for the time being, a massive victory. So at first, we had this lawsuit. It was it was Bruin. I think it was Bruin, right? Where they said you can't, uh, you you have to issue a permit if a permit is requested. New Jersey and Maryland and New York are, are are three examples of states where you'd go in and say, "I'd like to get a gun." They'd say, "Great, fill out this form," and the form would say, "What's your reason?" And if you were like, "I'm an American citizen who wants to keep and bear arms," they'd say, "Not good enough," and they deny you your permit. Or they'd lie. So the Supreme Court says, no, 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 that's unconstitutional. You're, you're barring guns. You have to do it. Maryland and New Jersey were and New York would not give you a permit. They'd give you one only if you were rich or famous and could prove you were rich and famous. The other, the other way to get it is if you, uh, uh, like if you handle large sums of cash, like working at a bank, they would allow you to get a permit as a security guard. But so almost nobody gets them. Now they've lost that. And the latest news is, they said, okay, fine, you can get a gun, but you got to take a class. And now the courts are like, nah, you don't. You can have a gun. So Maryland is about to be forced by a judicial review to become constitutional carry. This, this rule is a major push. We may eventually see, and I'm talking like in, a, in two or three years, maybe four, depending on how long it takes the Supreme Court. But we could see in the next several years, nationwide constitutional carry which means you can be in Maryland and carry concealed and drive to any state you want and not go to prison for doing so. Yeah. Which is insane if you think about it, because the Constitution of the United States says you have the right to keep and bear arms. So why is that if you go to, from Virginia to West Virginia, you're fine. And if you go to Maryland, now you're committing a felony. That's insane. Yeah. Because Maryland doesn't think you should have a gun, right? And also Maryland has, you know, a very intense crime ridden city. I'm talking about Baltimore, of course. Uh, they don't know how to handle these issues, but they think we'll ban guns and that will make everything okay. They don't understand the problems they have because they don't acknowledge yeah. what they're trying to if say. If you look at Brazil when Bolsonaro came in, I don't agree with everything Bolsonaro did, but one of the things he did is he said people should be able to own firearms. And crime dropped during his period. My wife's Brazilian. So my kids are all half Brazilian. We spend time, a lot of time down there. But crime dropped by 30% <laughs> during his time. Amazing. And all the academics were trying to explain it away and say, well, it wasn't because of guns. It was because of the air. Are there good <laughs> policies that he was implementing? Was Please, he, name he just, which one. He just got lucky. He got, it was a Was he doing what they did yeah. in San Francisco, making crime legal and then not classifying as a crime anymore? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bolsonaro, serious question. I don't no, know. No, Bolsonaro is kind of the opposite end of that one. He's the lock him up and throw away the key type. 30%. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much of that la la like vi was violent crime that diminished? I, I don't know the, all the, the super details, but it was it was stunning how much impact it had. Amazing. Oh, jeez. Well, I, 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 uh, um, I can't remember which state it was, but I remember a story that I, that I learned about when I was like 18 that um, I, it might have been Michigan or Wisconsin. Some state enacted a gun control law and then crime skyrocketed like 87%. So they immediately uh, repealed it. Like, oh crap, that was a big mistake. Mm -hmm. And uh, Illinois, just outside of Chicago, has 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 the, uh, a city with some of the highest crime in, in the country. Believe it or not, a lot of people think you're gonna get the highest crime rates in like per city. But yes, there's this one part of uh, Illinois that has one of the highest crime rates. It's actually a wealthy shopping district. So it's not murders and stuff. It's just everybody's getting robbed and mugged nonstop. Look, wow. man, if you live in Illinois, these criminals know you don't got a gun. Is there a value to making it constitutionally legal statewide, except for in the big cities? Or would that just cause too much confusion? Oh, and, and if you ever had to like 
go like I think about Tennessee where there are three major cities across it. If you ever drive across Tennessee, what are you going to do? Like go around it to avoid it? it? At some point, you're just putting a burden on the law abiding citizens and you're not actually dealing with those people who don't care about your laws and will bring a gun there anyways. I guess you are the highways aren't are the highways federal? Or are they all yes. state? They're federal? Uh, well, no, I mean, they're state and federal highways. Mm. So typically right. the way the law is supposed to work is if you're on a federal highway and interstate, you're allowed to carry as you know, under certain circumstances, mm -hmm. typically you're allowed to transport. But if you get off at any point for gas, oh, they're going to get you. Mm. I know people who've had yeah. this happen to them. Otherwise, if you don't have this, what happens is you end up, if you're in Sao Paulo or any area of Brazil, and it hasn't, it, but guns have been illegal for a long time there before Bolsonaro. You have these walls that are as tall as your ceiling. And on top of the walls, it's just a bunch of broken glass bottles cemented yeah. into the top of the yep. wall because people are poor. They can't afford really great security. And so they just build a big wall and put broken glass they, bottles on they the They build a wall, you say? Yeah. yeah. What a great wall. idea. <laughs> so this is actually crazy. But, but around every single little tiny house, there's a wall with gro broken glass bottles. They that, like, they that's stick your, it in the That's water. your last defense. Yeah when you don't have any way to defend yourself. And if you call the police, they'll show up in like an hour. Oh, right. What yeah. do you, I mean, but I mean, let's be honest, that's how, that's how it is in the US. <laughs> yeah, it's I, starting to get that way. I, my experience in Chicago has always been that way. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a farm boy. So. Yeah, see, you, you, yeah when, suburb when, was a So the only, see, the only consideration when you're in the rural areas is how long will it take for them to drive there? That's yes. right. And that's so- Because right. they'll come as fast as they can. Exactly. But it might be 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but in the city, you could have a police station down the street, and this has happened to me and my family, and had someone, you know, let's just say engaging in violence against our property, and literally a block away, and the cops didn't show up for half an hour. It's because they're dealing with, like, li like actual violent murder or something. Or, or they're passing out parking tickets. Yeah. Or they just or they're it. just like, eh, who cares? Like, what are we going to do about it? This, in the suburbs. They're like, man, that sounds really bad. We'll, we'll stay away from there. Yep. It, it was okay response time in the suburbs, but out in the country, like, I mean... 20 minutes is not acceptable. I don't. Yeah. Well, this is the reality, man. When when we, when I lived in Florida, yourself, but... if we if we we didn't have police, if we called the sheriff, it was going to be an hour, hour and a half. Mm -hmm. So you need a gun. I, I, that, I, I was talking to a friend of mine who was like, there is no. She told me there is absolutely no reason anyone should have a gun. Give me one reason. I said, okay. Well, I lived in uh, rural Florida, uh, 40 miles outside of Miami, on a five acre property, and. We didn't have a gun. We had a uh, uh, break break action air uh, compression twenty two pellet rifle, and uh, there was a there was word going around the neighbors that uh, someone had been murdered. It was a home invasion. Illegal uh, illegal immigrants had had broken in and killed some people, and they were not caught. So one day, me and my friends are hanging out in the kitchen. We're making pizzas because we like to just make all different kinds of pizza for fun. We make weird ones. We made a fruit pizza once with like jam and kiwis and stuff, <laughs> just goofing off. And uh, I see a guy in my backyard with a flashlight, and I'm like. These, there, there are six foot tall fences surrounding the property. And so I'm like, okay, I can call a sheriff right now. And maybe in an hour and a half, we'll figure it out. So I'm not going to say it's a responsible thing to do, but I, uh, I compressed air in the rifle, went out, dry fired, bang. And I yelled, Hey, they bolted, jumped the fence and they were gone. Perhaps not the smartest thing to do. It's all, I, it's all I could do at the time. And it made me think like, we probably shouldn't be out here unless we're able to defend ourselves. And so I said, okay, what would have happened if that was the murderer? Who, who had, you know, killed somebody else. And he realized it was just an airsoft gun or a... a or, or no, no, I didn't have anything. I mean, they hear a bang, they run for it. They're not going to try and figure out what it was. Mm. It's, a, it's, 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 a loud, it's a loud weapon. And, and to be honest, those things are, are dangerous, not they as are. dangerous as yeah. like a Ruger 1022. But let's say we're totally disarmed and this guy comes up to the property armed. Should I, I, I call the police. They'll be here in an hour and a half. What should I do? You're back to the biggest man wins. She had no answer. She had no answer. She's like, oh, I don't know. That person shouldn't have a gun. I'm like, you're right, but they have one because they're committing a crime. What should I do? Should I just die? You should tell them they shouldn't have a gun. And then they'll be like, oh, my mistake. I'll put it down. And There's no one, Let me pause the game. There's no answer. <laughs> yeah. the, the answer is you need to be able to defend yourself from bad people. And law-abiding <laughs> citizens are not the risk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just... And you guys are parents. Like, when your kids are old enough to live by themselves, would you feel better if they, like, live had a gun and knew how to how yeah, to defend themselves to if they them, live alone, train right? Train them on what to do. It, it does make sense. It's weird to me that... The response to I have a fear about gun is to ban them as opposed to train more people to know how to operate them mm -hmm. and to feel comfortable with them. And that means that you're not probably not addressing what your actual fear is, which is crime. And mm -hmm. that's a different conversation. Than I remember after the Aurora, Colorado shooting, I said to my wife and I was just like, I'm never like I'm getting a gun and I have a phobia of pistols. I like a, not because I don't I, I'm a big supporter of self-defense and the Second Amendment, but I have a phobia, so I'm going to go take 
classes down in Nevada, a week long class on how to do this. And I'm going to become as well trained as any police officer so that I know and I have confidence that I know how to use it and I know how to protect myself and I'll never regret being in it like that. I didn't do that. Right. Um, but I wanted, I wanted to be trained. I wanted to yeah. know and to, to try to get rid of the phobia. Yeah. And according to self-defense instructors, you'll be the guy that they run to if anything pops off because they all know you know what you're doing mm -hmm. and you'll be, they'll be clinging to you. They just in from a super chatter, Oregon, uh, Oregon, Oregon judge struck down a gun control measure just within the last three hours. Uh, Harney, we're, just, we're, we're winning too fast. Ian. Harney County judge rules <laughs> Oregon gun I'm measure. I'm getting tired of winning. <laughs> measure 114 unconstitutional. It looked like they were trying to create a 30 day uh, delay. Oregon for has your, wow. really intense rules. But they shut that down. I'm, get, I'm getting tired of winning, guys. We're just winning too much. Too She's going to have to get used to it. Well, let's let, let's talk about what you guys are working on now because you've got a new movie coming out on, uh, not this this week. December but, 1st. Yeah, the, the next next week, mm -hmm. Friday. Uh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Should we should we play the but trailer? I think you guys think they're the all good, mm -hmm. though, right? No, they're all good because they all pass the guild. Thanks for watching this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.